So hey there, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Merry day after Christmas. I hope you had a great holiday. This morning, I woke up and I found an email from a regular subscriber who had a question about the 360 Pano tutorials that I've been doing recently. So, to answer his question, I figured I'd do a quick little video today, and we are looking at the website of Pointer Rocks RV Park, and this is one of the 360 Panos I did for them recently. And included on this 360 Pano are some text labels and boxes to show locations on the 360 Pano. Now, if you don't know how to pull a 360 Pano together, I would suggest to look in the upper right-hand corner of this video. There's an info tab. You can click on that, and I've got links to videos number one and number two for doing 360 panoramics as part of your business offering to clients. So today's video is just about how do we get those labels in there? And it's actually very simple. So first you're going to get your 360 panoramic completed with your drone. So you might be using the DJI Go 4 app or maybe the Litchi app, whatever app you're using. In the end, you're going to have to generate your 360 pano first. And that pano is going to look something like this. Here I'm pulling up Photoshop. And so this panoramic was shot with the DJI Go 4 app. And really the top of the sky wasn't really here. It didn't capture this area that I'm highlighting right now, but I did mirror the clouds and drag them up so that we could fill out the entire panoramic. I'm going to get out of there really quick and deselect. So how did we get these text boxes in here? Well, very simple. We just used Photoshop's layers to create each of the rectangles and the text. So we've got one called the Upper Loop and Watson Lake and Point of Rocks Entrance etc etc so if i were to go turn off some of these like here's the upper loop let's zoom in on that really quick see the thing that says the upper loop and there's the upper loop on screen if i were to turn that visibility off there goes that text box so very simply and very easily all you have to do is create a text box and a rectangle or something else to put under it if you'd like and then you can just copy the layers over and over again and just relabel each one of them. And in the end, what your file looks like, I'm just zooming back out, there's all of our labels, and what we're going to do is save this as a JPEG. We're going to flatten all the layers, save it as a JPEG, and then we can upload it to our website. And that's in, that's in the tutorial number two, which is linked in that info tab. And the final output is this. So as you can see, we've got our labels on our 360. And one of the really nice things with Photoshop now, if you have the latest version of Photoshop, just to let you know. So we laid this out, we've got it the way we want it. And what I can do over here in my layers, I can select my layers and I can actually collapse them all into one thing. So I just merged everything that was visible, shift command and uh, E. And when we do that, let me just go backwards really quick so I just did an undo but if I do shift command E that collapses everything over here so now it's just the background layer and what's really really cool so number one I can go save this as a JPEG right now for upload but the second thing if you would like to do a double check on yourself you can go up to 3D spherical panorama and a new panorama layer from the selected layers so I'm doing that really quick and I'm not going to switch to the 3D workspace. But now in Photoshop, I can actually pan around and see what this is looking like. So if I need to adjust where the text boxes are, I know exactly where I want to adjust them to since I'm taking a look around in Photoshop. So the 360 panel works exactly the same way it should. And I'm going to do that undo. So there we go. And I could actually go back to take this off of this 360 view if I wanted to. But so once you're done with your panoramic and dropping your text layers in there, you can go ahead, go up, do a file save as, make a JPEG. And then just as a double check for yourself, when it's all set, you can actually do that 3D spherical panorama as well. So I hope this got your question answered and will make things easier. By the way, the one other thing I like to do in the 360 panos done with drones, we don't get all the way up into the sky. And you can actually see this little edge layer here. 
where things are not perfect. One thing that you can do if you don't want to drag your clouds or your skies all the way up, you could leave this as white space on the top and instead you could throw a couple of text layers in there maybe with the phone number, you know, if it's a resort, hey, call us at whatever number. Or if it's a property listing, you could also put your real estate uh, business's phone number in, give us a call today to find out about purchasing this property, that kind of thing. So, all right, there we go. I'm going to close out of Photoshop. I'm not going to save those changes because I still want to keep that Photoshop document. But in the end, it's that simple. Bring your JPEG generated by the DJI Go 4 app. That is your 360 pano. Bring that into Photoshop. In Photoshop, make some text layers and some rectangle layers or whatever shapes you'd like to use. Pop your information in. Collapse everything. Save it as a JPEG and then upload it to your site, which you can find on the lesson number two. And once again, up in the upper right hand corner, there's the info card and you can click there to go check out both lessons one and two. I hope this was helpful and I hope it didn't go too long. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And the results are fairly compelling, especially for clients who would really like to show off their property, uh, their vacation location, whatever it is they have. Popping these little labels into the 360 panorama just adds a little extra to it, and it usually impresses clients. Um, well, yeah, it, it always impresses clients, and they always think it takes longer than it really does. So give it a whirl today and see how yours comes out.